Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Siren. We're now moving on with a different playable character. So far, we've only been using Kiyoya, but there are a number of playable characters in this game, and we're about to see a new one, but before we do that, let's take a look at the archive. Because there was one that I think I forgot to look at, and actually three are flashing, and I'm not sure why, because I know we took a look at Officer Ishida's uh, badge, so why is that flashing? And of course, bang, issue number 33. This is the one we didn't look at, the drawing with cryptic symbols. I picked this up, and it says that there is a particular pattern to the layout of the symbols. So spirits can cause the marker to move to answer questions. Basically what this is is sort of a cipher. Uh, the symbols we will see in different places in the game, and they correspond to letters. You can probably take, probably just looking at that, you can probably figure out what what symbols correspond to which letters. Uh, it's not really a big mystery, but if you need a, a translator for some of the things that we will be seeing, there you go. We picked one up. But we don't have any use for that right now, because we're moving on to this new playable character, Taimon Takauchi. Day 1, 2 o'clock. The same period of time uh, that our last level with Kiyoya was in. So at the same time that Kiyoya was wandering with Hisako, Tamin was doing this. Professor? What is this place? Where are we? I just don't get it. What's going on? I told you to wait in the car. But, but what's happening? What is this? Why is this happening? This is exactly why I told you not to come. Professor, we need to find the villagers. They must be panicking. <sighs> Please shut up. What, what is this? <sighs> oh my god. From now on, you will do exactly as I tell you. What? Until I call you, keep your eyes closed and stay still. Do you understand? Oh. Professor, is that, is that a real gun? Okay, come on. Uh, uh, okay. So, two more outsiders, Professor Takauchi and his student, Yoriko, have been trapped in whatever's happening in this village. We've got a Tamman's faculty ID. And now we have to get past this area we find ourselves in, along with Yoriko. I'm supposed to concentrate and listen to your voice. Well, I'm seeing something kind of strange. So, what do we need to do? Now, this is, I think, the first real difficult level that people end up, uh, end up having trouble with. Because well, I've mentioned that this game is very difficult. We haven't really seen an example of that, so why don't we see one now? I'm just going to walk ahead on that bridge, because that's where we need to go, right? We need to get across here uh, to wherever it is we're heading to. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, that's strange. A gunshot. Wait. How did... Why am I not dead? Oh my god. I just walked directly across the level to the exit. I should not be able to do that. I should have been shot dead by doing that. That is ridiculous. I've never done that. Okay, uh, I guess I am just going to have to make my way back to Yoriko because I told her to wait. Now, I could tell her to come here. That would be a bad idea because she would run across this area and uh, she would probably not survive the sniper. And I can't, I can't believe that worked. That should not have worked. 
How did that work? How did that work? That sniper is really good at killing you. Oh, the sniper saw me. The sniper saw me. I might get killed after all. Hold on, hold on. You might see it. Yep, there we go. That's what's supposed to happen. You're not supposed to just be able to run by him. Anyway, the, the blue, the indigo crosshair is Tamon, and the green crosshair is Yorko. We're going to try again. We're going to... We're now going to do this how you're supposed to do it, and not just run across the level and somehow the sniper doesn't see you. That's really not supposed to happen. I'm supposed to concentrate mm -hmm. and listen to your voice. Yep. Well, I'm seeing something kind of strange. All right, let's turn the flashlight off because that's the first thing we should do in most levels. And as for seeing something strange, let's sight jack. I'm moving the analog stick around. Okay, so this is what Yoriko is seeing. She has her eyes on the professor. Yeah, I see what I see what you're looking at, Yoriko. Let's take a look around at the rest of the level. And we'll see if I can tune in. Okay, I tuned on, tuned in on this guy who's walking around. Anyone else? There's the sniper. There he is. Hold on, let me keep trying. Because there should... Okay, there's this person. There should be someone else. No, that's Yorko. Hmm. So I've got... The sniper, I've got this person walking around, and you can map them to your to your face button. So I can just press a button and go directly to the sniper, and press a button and go directly to this sh uh, Shibito who's wandering around. But there should be someone else. There should be a third. And I'm looking for this third. Nope, not you, Yoriko. I could lock on to Yoriko, but I don't have a need to do that. No, I'm only finding the two. That's weird. All right. I've only found two, but that's fine. We'll try that again later, because there will be a third one I can lock on. Now, Yoriko asked the professor, is that a real gun? Yeah, it is. It holds six rounds. We also have ten spare bullets, so sixteen bullets in all. Now, we didn't actually have a, a weapon in our previous couple of levels with Kiyoya, so how is a gun going to work here? And while we're here, we might as well take a look at, uh... Why are these still flashing? I looked at these. I thought that was supposed to represent that I haven't looked at them yet, but... Anyway, here's his ID. He's a professor of folklore. So what's he doing here, in Hanada Village? At night, with a student with a gun in his bag. Why would he need a gun, do you think? That's illegal in Japan. That's why Yoriko was so surprised that he was actually carrying one. Now, it might be helpful for me to go ahead and scout while Yoriko waits here, but we already know where the exit is because I happen to be able to just run there without any opposition, so we're going to take her with us. So the way we're supposed to do this... Here's a, there's gonna be a bridge off to the side. Here it is. Oh, there's, okay, you see that guy over there with the flashlight? There's someone there, but he's walking away, so we should be good. Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's, let's hug the right. All right, while I'm here... Okay, yeah, this is the other one I was looking for. So there are three. There's the sniper, there's this guy walking around, we saw him walking, and now there's a third one somewhere. Okay, we can see where this one is in respect to Tamon and Yoriko. And you know, it can be useful, it can be helpful to just keep an eye on the the paths that the Shibuto take. Because you might notice some useful things if you do. For example, this one... Yeah. 
This one has found a radio. A radio. What's going on with that radio? I guess we better find out. So by keeping, uh, keeping track of this one, we notice the radio in the house. Maybe we should go check that out. I mean, it's very dark. Oh, hold on. I think he... Yep. She noticed me. Hold on. Yoriko, hold on. I've got my gun. Alright, so now... You notice that she curled up in the fetal position. I better better just pause right here, because there's something I have to explain. One thing this game is known for is that you cannot kill the enemies. The Shibito, as they're called, cannot die. Even though I just knocked one down by shooting it, it's not dead. It's gonna get back up in a little bit, and there's nothing I can do to kill it for good. So that's something that this game is well, is well known for. It's one of the things that makes it so difficult. You cannot actually kill any of the enemies. So with that in mind, let's look at the gun. Okay, so I have four bullets in the gun. I have ten spare. It took two bullets to knock down that Shibito. So 14 bullets, that means I can do that again. I can stun one seven times. So will that be enough to complete this level? Hopefully it is. Let's just try to get away from that Shibito that's down there. You need help? I'll pull Yoriko up. And while we're here, why don't we just uh, pick this up, pick up this radio? Why not? Let's pick it up. We got it. What are we going to do with that piece of junk? Yoriko, I'm not surprised you would ask that, because what we have to do with this piece of junk is not exactly obvious. It's just a broken radio that emits static. It doesn't do anything else. For right now, though... It's kind of hard to see. But we're trying to make our way up, which is where the exit is. But we found something here. We got a new archive item. A reference to the Mana Stone, which we heard and heard we have not heard before. That's the first mention of it, I believe. Right, it's a large piece of the Mana Stone. It's a stone that's worshipped by the villagers here, known as the Sacred Stone from above. So they've got a piece of it here. Don't know where the rest of it is, though. The Mana Cross is the symbol of the religion in this region. Maybe we'll find out more about this religion as the game goes on. Alright, here's where the exit is. But, something else we need to do. Yep, that's right, reload that gun. Remember that I said that when you're playing Siren, just making it to the exit is the easier thing. The harder thing is figuring out how to do the alternate objectives. So now that we're at the exit, I'm going to leave Yoriko here. Because I believe she'll be safe here. I don't think any Shibito patrol up here. And I'm going to take Tamon, and we're going to go back down into this area. Because there's something here we need to find. Oh, let's, uh... Alright, there's one wandering around. Now, this was this is just blackness, which means... The Shibito I knocked down with the gun, it's still down. I'm actually kind of surprised it's, uh, it's down for this long. They usually get up faster than that, but I mean, that's good. Just going to look around, see if I can find the bridge that I came in on, because that will be the marker that I need. Uh-oh, this is the main bridge, which means I'm in the sights of the sniper. Hold on. Fortunately, the sniper did not see me. 
Okay. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. It's a well. I mean, there's a bucket in the well. We could pull it up, because I guess we're not doing anything else right now. It's not like we're in the middle of a death village. Let's just pull up the bucket. Well, Tamon was startled by something. Oh, hold on. Alright, who saw me? He's coming, but slowly. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wander over here, and hopefully... He won't see me. I mean, I could just... Sh uh, there he is, he's coming around. I could just shoot him, but... Siren is all about stealth. It's all about trying to avoid combat if you can. Sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes you have to fight. Yeah, he's looking around, but he doesn't see me. Oh, wait, no, actually, that's someone else. This one... Okay, oh, this Shibito is getting back up. Like, see? This is the one I shot. It's getting back up. Now it's wandering again. And this one is the one that heard me, but I got out of its sight, so it's going to walk away. Huh. Let's get back to that well, because that's what I'm looking for. All right. Well, there's this bucket that I pulled up. There's nothing in there. There is something on the ground. A grotesque idol. It's an, it's an archive item. Let's have a look at it. No, not that one. Is this one. So, this is a story of the infant on the chopping block. Once upon a time, an old man found a turtle caught in his net while fishing in the river. Seeing its struggles, he took pity on it and decided to set it free. In gratitude, the turtle invited the old man to a feast at his palace at the bottom of the river. Among the many surprises there was a delicacy served on a kitchen chopping block. The old man could not bring himself to eat it. Instead, he hid the baby's body, brought it home, and disposed of it in the well. So, that uh, appears to be a sort of a mer baby. It, like, doesn't have legs. It has, like, a fishtail. But whatever that is, we found it in the well. But that's not important. What is important is, now that we've pulled that up... What could we do with this well, with this bucket? Could we maybe put the radio in the bucket? I mean, we could. It's not like we're doing anything else with it. We did it. And now radio static is echoing from the well. Why would we want to do that? Well, we might remember that there was a one of the Shibito seemed to be distracted by the static. It seemed like it got their attention. So now that we've put that down in the well, and there is a Shibito who will walk by that well. I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. What's going to happen when it walks by this well? It's looking right at me. But I'm a bit too far away. It's, it's walking by the well. It's walking by the well. But here's the radio. And it's looking down. Okay. This is our chance. Our chance for what, you might be asking? Well, we've distracted it. So now let's try to sneak up on it. Yeah. I'm going to crouch down. Going to do this real quiet, real slow, to make sure we do it right. Yeah, there it is. He's looking down the well. He's, he's curious as to what's making that noise. So I am going to sneak up behind him. I'm going to stand, aim, 
and fire. We did it. We knocked the Shibuto down the well. And because we did that, that means that we have unlocked Mission Objective 2 in a future mission for a different character. Now, you might wonder, how did any of that achieve an alternate objective in a future level? Well, we'll talk about that when we get there. You might also ask, how would someone be expected to figure that out on their own? Uh, so let's go back up uh, and meet Yoriko. She's waiting for us. And there is a Shibito somewhere around. Patrolling this area. No, it's on. Where is it? Where is it? There she is. She gonna come down? Then I am going up. Yep, she's climbing. She's coming after me, but we're faster than her, and Yoriko is at the exit already. So I think we are home free. And that sniper can't see us from here. And we eliminated that one Shibito. We knocked him down the well. Beauty. I've been waiting for ages. Oh, you won't believe. You wouldn't believe what I was doing. I was putting radios down wells. I mean, it's hard to explain. But mission is accomplished. And while, we're do while we were doing that, what happened with Kiyoya seven hours later? Actually, five hours later. At the church at the Arazu Valley. It's not a dream. Am I going crazy? Okay. What do we do now? All we can do is wait here until Makino and the others arrive. Oh, are you... Is this a place of worship? I mean, it kind of looks like one, but it's different from the other ones I've seen. It may seem strange, but this is our faith. Oh, well, I don't know anything about religion. It must be a sign. Outsiders like you don't normally possess the sight. Right. Huh. I'll go and see what's going on. And some light reading has been added to the archive. So we see that Kiyoya had went off with Hesako and ended up at their church. Kiyoya clearly uh, uncomfortable by the presence of this uh, by of this regional religion has decided to run off and see what that yell was all about but uh, i think we're going to cycle my saves as we save and about to go on to the next mission not with kiyoya but with a different character entirely uh so we'll continue on uh tamen and yoriko have made it across that one shibuto filled area who knows what's going on with them kiyoya Seem to have reached safety, but now seems to be running back off into danger five hours later. And, uh, and now we are going to continue on with a new character entirely and see what this person is all about. I'll see you next time for more Siren.